Welcome back guys, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Right, we are doing a craft beer now, but it's one of the supermarket ones. Uh, and it was picked up from Morrison's. I think individually it would have been £3.50, but it was part of a four for three. And what we've got is uh, almost local to me really, and it's a Polly's Bruco beer. And this is their Satin Pattern, and it's a double dry hopped pale ale. It's coming in at 5.5%, and like I said, £3.50 it would have been. Uh, but it was part of a four for three. I think I had a can that was three quid, so I, I probably paid for this one. Anyway, glass at the ready. I don't have a Polly's glass, so I'm just going to turn that up for a second, upside down. Try and get some of the old set, mind you, it'll go in there when it's just get on with it. And now I've got bloody cats walking in on me. All they've done is moiva me and get on my bleeding tip since I got through the door. And here they do. Usual thing, scratch the chair, let's walk in front of the camera. Maybe it's best I have a minute before I do reviews when I get in. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Anyway, she's left me in peace, she's had her food, she's gone up on the windowsill. So, Polly Satin Pattern Double Dry Hopped Pale Ale, 5.5%. Look at that. That looks like chicken stock, custard if you like. Uh, a lovely white, small bubble head on top, but it's a real dense sort of, orange almost yellow sort of golden color uh looks great can't see any bubbles going up myself so let's stop talking dive in with the nose and see what we get on the aroma it looks really good swilling around actually it looks like it's gonna have a good body but we'll see it smells nice a little bit of hop in there juicy Sort of the bright sort of fruits, I would say. There's a bit of mango, a bit of orange in there. Maybe a bit of pineapple as well. What are the hops on the back? It's saying uh, Columbus, El Dorado, Mosaic and Simcoe. Smells really good anyway. Let's dive in on Polly's Satin Pattern Double Dry Hop Pale Ale. Cheers. Oh, that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent, to be fair. Let's go in again. Not a great glass for keeping ahead, this this one. It's got to be said. Uh, again, a different glass. That kept a bigger head would be better. I think it would improve the mouthfeel. The, the body, I should say. The body is good. It is pretty thick and, well, it's pretty heavy for a 5.5%. I think if you had a glass that kept that head a bit better, uh, I think that would add to the body. It's still pretty bloody decent though. It is quite well carbonated. So it's not the smoothest in the mouth, to be honest. But as with a lot of Polly's beers, the actual beer is very soft. I think they must use good quality water when they do their brewing. Because a lot of their beers always have a lovely soft mouthfeel. Look at that, that's better. That's what it should have done. Look at that. Lovely. Go ahead and give us some tasting notes now. Yep, yeah. mango. It's quite, you get that bit of hop. You do get that hoppy sort of taste in there. Mango, orange citrus, pineapple, passion fruit thing going on. Not totally, Not it's not that sort of tropical sort of thing. It's got a dank, a dank tang to it, if you like. It's quite bitter, has got quite a bit of bit, bitter sort of hit on it. Maybe almost, Maybe almost on the back end, it's a little bit of a sort of grapefruit bitterness. But that's actually probably one of the better supermarket craft beers I've had in a while, I think. I'd have to go through my videos, I can't remember to be honest. But from what I can remember, 
that's probably one of the better ones I've had. So uh, yeah, 5.5%, let's do that bit first. Do you get the 5.5%? A little bit in taste. I think it is drinking spot on. The weight of the beer is quite sort of a, a heavy sort of beer to drink. So you sort of get the 5.5% in that as well. But yeah, Polly's Bruco, satin pattern, double dry hot to pale ale, is like I say, probably one of the best uh, craft beers I've had out of the supermarkets for a while. Not that I've had loads, but for me, yeah, it's well worth picking up. So there you go. If you've had this beer before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment, like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.